I wanted to do an update on this mini uh, table saw. I've, I'm still very happy with it. I just want to point out a few things. And I did find it's very easy to get replacement blades. And let me show you if I can what I ordered from Amazon. So it's a four inch blade. And the important part is the center hole, which is three fifths of an inch or 16 millimeters. So that's what you want to look for, four inch. Buy that, it was not expensive. Let me see if I can zoom up and show you. It was uh, $6.99, but you want to get the four inch by three fifths inch blade. So that will fit this table saw. And the reason I got that is I wanted a thinner cut because I use some pretty thin wood in what I use it for. And that's uh, model ships, wooden model ships. Couple things that I've discovered that need to be done. You need to square the blade with this and get some sort of a, a T-square. Loosen these two Allen screws and once you get it square then just tighten it. And that should give you a pretty square cut to the blade. Now what I need to make is I want to duplicate this and I'll, I'll do a separate video on the product that I use this for. This is from a Win drill press table. Very impressed with it. You can't make one for what you can just buy this one and it has a lot of good equipment on it. So I'll show that in my upcoming video. But that's what I wanted to cut with this. And here's a piece of wood. So I just kind of laid my original on it. And then I can mark it. The other thing that I have done, you may recall this hole was too small for my small shop back. So I just took a metal cutting blade, made it a little bigger. This can fit in there now nicely. mistake I made is I forgot to turn my shot back on so I still have all the little wood chips all over the place but it gives me a satisfactory cut happy with it I did go a little large so I will just run it through and just shave off just a little bit this time I will turn the, the shot back on So again, for small projects, I'm real happy with it. I'm a little concerned with this. Um, I don't ever, ever wear long sleeves, but you know, you could get something caught in that because it does spin. Eventually, I suppose I could put a polishing wheel on there or something on that chuck. Undecided. But that's an update on the mini table saw. I know uh, it would be a good item for a gift. They vary in prices, just uh, search Amazon and you'll see a variety of them. And I think that's it for this episode of Boiler Dan 1, where I know a little bit about everything and a whole lot about nothing. And I am still happy with this mini table saw.